Hi, I'm Helene. One of the things on my heart has been to write a book called Greatness Blooming, about calling out your seeds of greatness. One of the biggest challenges I've had is to figure out, okay, what are the seeds and how do we get them out? And to figure that out, the biggest thing you have to do is really connect to the Lord, because He'll show you not only where the seed is to sow, but how to pull out your seeds of greatness. Knowing that, I figured, okay, I gotta read God's Word more. I gotta study more. And I've dedicated like a 30 minutes each morning to just reading his word and trying to figure out more how to hear his heart. Well, as I got deeper and deeper and over the years, what I've learned is I needed to find a place that would help me to have quiet and block out everything. And the word says to go find your prayer closet. So I began this journey of trying to find my prayer closet. So I started looking for a place in my house, somewhere that I could have quiet, and I tried to really look for that special sweet spot, the zone where I could just feel God's presence. Priscilla Shira spoke at our church a while back, and she said, if you want to be in God's presence, you have to go to where His presence is, where people speak, where worship is, wherever He is, and that's how you get more of His presence. So I was looking for that spot in my house where His presence would be. So let me show you what worked and what didn't work as far as finding quiet time to spend with the Lord. I started out with this chair. And this chair was a great chair. It's comfy and, and, and it, was, it was very plush. The problem was I would fall asleep half the time. And people started coming in and out. So I said, okay, what would be another place that I could find? And I kept asking the Lord, show me my sweet spot, Lord. Show me. So we walked over here and I actually started with the dining room. This dining room, I got this table, it was wonderful. I could lay everything out, I could study, I could have a concordance, I could do all kinds of stuff, but then you had to pick it all up. And you couldn't leave sticky notes all over, which I love. So I said, okay, where else, Lord? So I recently painted this, what I call the education family room. And this family room is actually where we play games, but also, this table ended up being a great, just a sweet spot to study as where we got a lake in the back and you can just enjoy it. So when I'm praying over the whole house and everything, it was great, but the energy kept seeming to get lost. And so I said, okay, what do other people do? I've heard of people really deep in the Word having a prayer closet, which is what the Word says. So I said, we, we knew this movie War Room was coming out, so I had started on my prayer closet. And when Teresa wanted to do one too, I said, okay, let me show you where I'm at now, and I'll show you my prayer closet war room in progress. Okay, so here's my room. This isn't normally what it looks like. I don't normally have a rack of clothes just sitting here. What I've been doing is pulling out all of my closet and sorting it and trying to figure what to keep, what to let go of. And I usually find there are three key stashes or piles that I have. One is the one to donate. The other one is the things that need to be fixed, either taken in or, or mended. And the third pile is one where I can't decide what to do with. And I'll put it in there, I'll put it in a box and box it up, all the things that I, maybe I haven't worn for six months or a year, or maybe I didn't know I even had it to wear. And then if I don't go back to it within six months up to a year, then I'll donate it or get rid of it in some, some way. Now, let me show you where I'm at with my closet. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I've cleared out half the closet. Now it's going to be coming back in, but I've done away with one rack and I'm going to try to make my clothes fit here. So I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of clothes so that I can make room for the war room and the prayer closet and my little desk here to sit and pray to the Lord. The other thing that, that's real important is that you have some accessories or a toolkit, which is something we're actually going to show you some good things you can have in your little war room to help you be successful. The main thing, God doesn't care what you have, to be honest with you. It's your heart that He wants. He wants you to just get on your knees, surrender your life to Him, and give Him your heart. All this other stuff are just vehicles to help things, to help you get quiet. We're just so busy. We just have to find ways to take a time out and just be with the Lord. And then this is one way to do it. Taking time, making space. Honestly, it's the space. you got to create the space to have time with the Lord. And that's what this helps do for me. Well, thank you so much for watching our Creating of a War Room. We'd like to invite you to join us every Thursday. We're going to release something that's in addition to what we have on how to get more effective in your prayer with the Lord and how to use your war room each and every day. Thank you.